Okay, so uh, welcome everyone to uh, Launchpad.ai. Uh, my name is Joseph Nkoma and I'm here with my colleague, Mehdi Griba, and we will be presenting the Dino V2, uh, learning robust visual features without supervision people. Okay, so I'll just start with the introduction here. So uh, what is Dino V2? Dino V2 is a new open source method for training high performance computer vision models built by Meta AI. Dino V2 delivers strong performance and does not require fine tuning. This makes it suitable for use as a backbone for many different computer vision tasks. Using cells for vision, Dino V2 can learn from any collection of images. All right, so uh, these are just examples of, um, of some visualizations with Dino V2 where uh, these are uh, visualized from, from the PC, from the first PCA components. Computation of a PC between the patches of the images that shows their first three components. Uh, if you take a look at these images right here, you see that uh, there's kind of a similarity between uh, some objects and even some animals. For example, you see the birds and the plane, you see that uh, the wings show a color like green color. Then you see that in the, uh, in the middle part is uh, just a bit red and blue. So Dino V2 can show kind of similarities between uh, objects. And even if they are not uh, like really, uh, even if they're not really the same, but as long as they have like kind of a similar uh, feature or a similar way they are, Dino V2 can actually show those features that are similar between related images. So each component is matched to a different color and the same parts are matched between related images. So why Dino V2? Text-guided models have been the most promising models in computer vision. This is using a form of textual, uh, textual supervision to guide the training of the features. However, there are limits to this text-guided method. Complex level information that can be retained about the image may not surface on since captions only approximate the rich information in images. So for example, if we take a look at the chair, uh, the image of the chair, uh, when using text guided method, it's can, you can say maybe like single oak chair, but the thing about that is that the information, the information such as the location of the, uh, of the chair in the room, the presence of the wall clock, and the overall room decor are like disregarded. So those are kind of the limits with text-guided method. So the authors of Dino V2 propose a self-supervised approach to learn all proposed visual features portrayed on a large quantity of curated data. So more on uh, Dino V2. So the Dino V2 family of models drastically improves over the previous state of the art in self-supervised learning and reaches performance comparable with weekly supervised features. Dino V2 models are pre-trained with supervision of, on large curated and diverse data set of 142 million images. Dino V2 models demonstrate strong out of distribution performance and the produced features are usable without requiring any fine tuning. So I'll move on to the methods now. So these are the methods that they use uh, while uh, 
uh, developing Dino V2. So the first part of the pipeline uh, involves um, authors preparing data from curated data sets, from curated data and uncurated data. Curated data meaning uh, data like ImageNet 22K, maybe ImageNet 1K, Google Landmarks, several fine-grained data sets, and uncurated data meaning like uh, crawled web data. That's data you just get from the web. So the collected uncurated data was deduplicated to reduce redundancy and increase diversity among images. Moreover, the images that looked similar in the test and validation sets were removed. Then the curated pre-training pre dataset was built by retrieving images from the deduplicated de de uh, uncreated data source that is similar to images in curated sources. So this was done by computing an image embedding using self-supervised vision transformer network pre-trained on ImageNet 22K and cosine similarity as a distance measure between images, followed by k-means clustering of the uncurated data. So the second part of the pipeline is the discriminative self-supervised pre-training. So features are learned with a discriminative self-survived method. This method uh, involved first the image level objective. So here, Danovity con considers the cross entropy loss between the features extracted from the students and teaching that work. Both features are coming from the class token of a vision transformer obtained from different crops of the same image. The parameters of the student are learned and the teacher is built with an exponential moving average of past iterates. Second is the patch level objective. Here, Dino V2 randomly masks some of the input patches given to the student, but not to the teacher. A cross entropy loss is added between the patch features of both networks and on each maxed patch. Thirdly, is untying the head weight between both objectives, that is between the image level and patch level. So untying the weights resolves the issues of underfitting at the patch level, overfitting at the image level, and improves the performances at both scales. Then they use a sync hop century, which replaces the teacher softmax centering step of nine with the steps for three iterations. Then they use a colio regularizer to which encourages a uniform span of features with a batch. The features are also normalized before computation. Lastly, the resolution of images were increased to 518 by 518 during the short period at the end of pre-training. So um, from here on, I'll pass, uh, pass on to my uh, colleague, Mehdi, to continue from here. Thank you. Thanks, Joseph, for the great presentation. Um, uh, so regarding the results, um, well, the major goal of the Dino V2 was to get uh, quality trained data at scale. And um, to start, uh, I want to say that um, from 1.3 billion image in the data set, uh, through the um, process of Dino V2, um, the team managed to have approximately half of the image. So that's uh, one of the key features um, after the use of Dino V2. And regarding the general results, um, the self-supervised features outperform existing models uh, by a large margin and uh, matched or surpassed weekly supervised models. 
Um, we have seen also significant improvement in the top one accuracy uh, compared to previous uh, models on the ImageNet 1K data set. Um, and um, the findings highlight the effectiveness of the self-supervised models. Uh, just, just, just the last one. Yeah, thanks. So uh, overall, the findings highlight the effectiveness of the self-supervised models in, virus, uh, in various image understanding tasks and um, their competitiveness with weekly supervised models. <clears throat> and to speak more in details, um, we have results for um, the transferability of features, the PCA, as uh, Joseph has have shown um, at the start of the presentation, and the patch, patch matching. So regarding the transferability of features, um, thanks to the Dyno V2 um, process, we can effectively um, it can be effectively applied to different domains. Uh, for example, uh, as it was shown in animal pictures or paintings. Um, and uh, this means that uh, the learned features can be applied to new and diverse type of data. Um, regarding the PCA of batch features, um, we found that the model can successfully identify the main object in an image and separate it from the background. And additionally, the model can identify and match similar parts of objects across different images. And this, uh, this is very related to the patch matching, um, where uh, we can recognize, uh, the model can recognize uh, similar features across different objects. Um, so to compare uh, Dino V2 with um, other process and other types of um, data processing. Um, regarding the image benchmarks, uh, Dino V2, uh, the model, uh, when it was trained with the Dino V2 method, outperformed uh, OpenClip on image-based tests. Um, on data sets like uh, iNaturalist and Places 205. Um, regarding the video action recognition, even though the model was not trained specifically for um, video tasks and um, videos in general, um, we found that um, the model outperformed other self-supervised models on these data sets and match or exceeded uh, OpenClip. Um, regarding the transfer classification benchmarks, uh, the model consistently outperformed other models, especially on benchmarks like Stanford cars and FGVC aircraft. So to conclude, um, the, paper, the paper demonstrated well that DynaV2 outperforms OpenClip uh, in tasks like uh, semantic segmentation um, that we found here um, on the left where we can measure uh, the distance between um, the uh, pixel and uh, its depth in the image and um, the, depth, the depth estimation. Um, the feature extracted by Dino V2 transfer well across domains and exhibit object recognition and matching capabilities. So overall, uh, Dino V2 proves to be effective and versatile in visual tasks. Thank you for your attention. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, uh, we can see them on the chat. Well, thanks guys very much for uh, your attention. I hope it was uh, beneficial. And if you have any other any questions. All right, thank you everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to see our presentation and uh, hope everyone have a good day. Thank you very much.